Baldwin is pushing this petition to get guardianship over Laura. You didn't expect him to drop it. He subpoenaed me. Because he expects you to blow it on the stand and prove that you are detrimental to Laura's well-being. Oh, save your breath, Tracy. Luke's totally irrational when it comes to Laura. You need to be rational when it comes to Laura. Now, where's your self-respect, huh? What about your pride? This is private, Pa. Listen, you are Tracy's husband. She does not need to be worrying about how you feel about Laura. You are her husband now. God help us all. You're right, Daddy. He is my husband, so I will take care of it. Mom, you're back. Listen, hey, I got a letter from PCU. Turns out nobody bothered to pay my tuition. And now it's past due. Hello, sweetheart. I missed you, too. Oh, I'm sure Tracy would be happy to write a check with all that extra cash she has from forging Alan's will. Oh, you go, girlfriend. Shut up. Excuse me. I wasn't talking to you. Then who are you talking to? You keep this up, Tracy, you're going to wind up in the room right next door to Laura. You know, I got a memo detailing Tracy's very successful trip to Seattle, and I think we need to show her a little respect. Tracy doesn't deserve any respect. I'm sorry, can somebody tell me, am I planning on going back to school, or should I just be flipping hey, burgers? Hey, people, hold it. Quartermans, take a break. Everybody's got problems, okay? Even me. And right now, I need my wife's full attention and her assistance in making sure that Scott Baldwin doesn't get guardianship over Laura. What? Scott filed papers and subpoenaed Luke. Well, I mean, does, does Luke know? Did I miss anything at the reception? If Laura wanted Nicholas to be her guardian, then her wishes should be respected. Like anyone respects anyone's wishes around here. She would not have wanted Scott. Well, clearly, Laura didn't respect Luke enough to handle her business affairs. I don't recall asking for your opinion, Edward. But you are living in our house now, Spencer, and our money will undoubtedly cover your court costs, so I damn well am entitled to have my say. I'll handle it. It doesn't mean he's right, Tracy. Monica, it's a losing battle. She can't hear you. Who can't hear what? Damn it. Don't ask, Edward. Don't ask. Mr. Baldwin is here to see... Oh, I don't know exactly. Well, I wasn't expecting an audience. Oh, you get much more than an audience. You're going to get a full-blown battle. Oh, she's getting feisty. Would you button it? Hey, I didn't come here to get insulted, Tracy. No, you came here to show us that you want to be Laura's legal guardian, huh? Yeah, well, I would do a much better job than this uh, deadbeat here. Really? Do you recall how many times and how many ways you tried to swindle the Quartermain family? <laughs> and he's trying it again. Look, he's standing around until we offer him money to get out of here. What will it take? What will it take, Baldwin, to have you go away and leave Laura alone? I got plenty of money, Edward. Nobody's going to bribe me to stay away from her. Then we'll have to kill you. Where'd that come from? Take that, you little toad. Oh, good. You're all here. Hi, Bobby. Barbara Jean, did you call this meeting? What the hell are you thinking? Barbara, I'm sure your intentions are very good here, but this is... You, you, have, you have overstepped. Hey, come on. Back off, Spencer. The only reason why I'm here is because Bobby asked me. Okay, both of you, will you just listen to me? This fight is the last thing that Laura would want. Luke... You are the love of her life. And Scott, much as I never wanted to admit it back then, you were Laura's first love. And you have managed to remain her good friend. But she wouldn't want the two of you going at each other in her name. Bobby's assessment is not wrong. They're both making asses of themselves to no purpose. Now, my purpose is to protect Laura. He has done a lousy job and so has Cassidy. So I'm stepping in here. Actually, Scott, I don't think it's any more your business than it is mine. I was married to her. Briefly. You know, Laura always thought that she could save that idiot. Now somebody's got to save her from him. And if there's a chance that she might recover, I don't want him around to messing up again. You have got to be kidding me. You of all people trying to get a hold of Laura, you should be shot, Scott. Get me a gun, son. Don't get involved with this, Dylan. Where? Does he get off criticizing Luke after what he did to Laura? What do you mean, dear? Yeah, Dylan. 
Please enlighten us. What? Um. Everyone knows the damage got caused by his sweetheart. The secret. I seriously doubt anybody wants to rehash yet again the accidental death of Teresa Carter when Laura was a teenager. That's not the death he's talking about. It was a horrible tragedy that Rick Weber completely mishandled. Oh, good. Okay, let's now blame Rick. Oh. If she starts to defend Rick, you have my permission to take her out of the knees. You know, uh, Monica is right. This decades-old tragedy has nothing whatsoever to do with the current problem of Baldwin's wanting to take custody or whatever it is of Laura. No, you know, I don't give a damn what any of you people think. Something pushing your buttons, Baldwin? Bobby. Your heart is in the right place, but when it comes to what's best for Laura, you're dead wrong. Now, I'm going to do everything in my power to get her out from underneath his drunken thumb.